thousands of Haitians are standing against their government and telling the U.S. to stay out of Haiti. No Canadian, no American. You are the monsters. You don't have solution. C'est vous les chaos. C'est vous les crimes de gangsterisation. Qui a armé? Qui a armé nos frères de les quartiers défavorisés? On October 7th, Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry called for foreign intervention to fight gang violence. However, there's more to this story than the Prime Minister is letting on. Haitians have been protesting for months over inflation, food prices, and water shortages. But in September, Henry announced a plan to cut fuel subsidies that doubled the price of fuel on the island, which caused protests to escalate. One group even began blocking deliveries from Haiti's main fuel port in protest of the plan. Clearing this blockade is one of the main reasons for requesting foreign troops enter the country. Quand c'est vous même qui posez, qui met problème yo, maintenant, au fin posez problème dans les coins et les recoins du pays, pendant que vous avez gangsterisé le pays, vous avez massacré les gens, vous avez dilapidé les gens, vous avez dilapidé les l'État, vous avez crasé le système de trois pouvoirs comme législatif, judiciaire et exécutif. Maintenant, même ou même encore penser que c'est ou même encore qui solution hein? ou pas aller créer un pays impérialiste pour nous te caler hein? nous te dit jamais de saline dit jamais plus que jamais nous pas tourner dans sa nouvelle domination et je dis on mande pour y venir et comme c'est c'est eux même qui solution et cependant le sous-développement elle est produit du capitalisme féroce Many Haitians see Henry as an illegitimate leader and have been calling for him to resign. In Haiti, the prime minister is appointed by the president. Former president Jovenel Moïse was fighting to stay in power when he appointed Henry. Days later, Moïse was assassinated. Since then, Henry, with the backing of the U.S. and other foreign powers, has led Haiti with no interim president beside him. The U.S. and Mexico are planning a U.N. resolution to authorize an international security mission that would allow foreign forces into Haiti. If forces are allowed to enter, this will be at least the fourth time Haiti is subject to foreign intervention. The U.S. occupied Haiti between 1915 and 1934 and returned from 1994 to 2000. In 2004, the U.S. came back again, followed by U.N. peacekeepers after the ousting of Haiti's president at the time. The U.N. mission stayed in Haiti until 2017 and has since faced numerous sexual misconduct allegations. Peacekeepers allegedly fathered and abandoned hundreds of children. Some mothers were as young as 11. Peacekeepers also introduced cholera disease to the island, causing a crisis that killed around 10,000 people.